Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. So, my question for today is, have you ever had a video game make an impact on daily life? And that may sound like a deep question, but I actually mean it in the most shallow way possible. Uh, have you ever been going about your daily business and all of a sudden you think, hey, I did something like this in a video game? Or maybe you dreamed about a video game, or maybe you draw parallels, or you could be one of those people, and I have actually done this plenty of times, where anytime you walk into a building or whatever, you're like mentally figuring out the quickest way to assassinate the nearest person and run to the exit. Uh, you know, that might not be the healthiest mindset to be in, but hey, sometimes it could be kind of fun to think about stuff. Um, <laughs> so, today at work, I actually had an experience like this. I'm sure some of you guys, or most of you guys, know of the game I Am Bread. And I don't actually have that game. It is 10 bucks, and I don't really have 10 bucks to spend on it right now to get just a gameplay video. But if you go look it up, there's a bunch of people doing Let's Plays on it. Basically... You're a slice of bread or a baguette or whatever kind of thing you are and you have to flop all over a world and claim things and toast yourself and do all this kind of stuff. So anyway, today I was coating a roof. I'm about 25 feet off the ground on the top of a lift using an extension for a roller that was about 18 plus feet long. Uh, three sections, seven feet a piece. Yeah, it was about 18 feet. So the roller on the end of this pole, once I had the asphalt on the end of it, um, the roller was so heavy that I actually couldn't pick up the pole because it would flex like three or four feet and the roller would just stay stuck to the roof. And I had a big puddle of asphalt. So here is what was happening. Basically, I had to flop the roller over a few rows <laughs> to where the puddle of asphalt was and roll up some on my roller and then flip flop back to the other side and actually put it on the roof. And of course, I'm laughing here and I had somebody else on the lift with me that was videotaping it. So this one was a bit slow. I was going a bit quicker than this when no one was in my way, but that's the basic idea of it. I was flip flopping all over the room, just like a baguette in I Am Bread. And that's all I could think about while I'm doing this is this is like a puzzle game. This is this is like uh, a flash game or some kind of thing just invaded real life and now I'm living it. And I've had other instances of this. I've had dreams about Supreme Commander. And, you know, you do enough of something it, and it invades your real life on one level or another. It doesn't just stay digital anymore. I'd love to hear your stories about that. Um, I'm going to ramble for a minute. When I was a kid, uh, one of my favorite games was Metroid Prime. And I've done a couple of Let's Plays on here. If you don't know what Metroid Prime is, you're missing out. It was one of the greatest games ever for the GameCube. Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Both of those, fantastic. Go pick them up. Play them on an emulator or something. Anyway, um, I would play those and like that was all I could think about was I didn't even know that Iron Man existed. Like I didn't read comics or anything. But I was daydreaming nonstop about building my own power suit so I could be just like Samus. And that was... <laughs> that was the... Uh, makeup of my wishes and hopes and dreams when I was a younger kid, like 9 or 10. That was what I wanted to do. I wanted to be Samus from Metroid Prime. So it it's kind of weird. It kind of consumes your mind at some points and sometimes it could be really funny and sometimes it could be kind of sad. I know I'm a nerd, but sometimes it is terrifying how deeply that vein runs. Anyway, I would love to hear your opinions on this. Anything that you've had, anything that you've observed, something that has popped up in your daily life, sprung forth from your subconscious that you didn't realize was way up in there and was either really hilarious or really terrifying once it came out. Post your messages in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching these videos. I love sharing my thoughts with the community. It's always great to know that you guys listen and respond. It is the highlight of my day. I will see you guys in the next video. Go ahead and check out the cast that is uploading right now. I think it will be ready by the time this video posts. If not, hold on a few. And definitely join me for the live cast tomorrow. That is on Saturday, 6 p.m. on YouTube. 
6 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to be doing a live cast on YouTube, interacting with everybody, taking questions, talking about some Ring Commander and any other games that you wish to discuss. Join me over there. We will have a great time. And on that note, I will see you guys later.